I've been writing your story as you've grown, Nova. We are just getting to your quest, and I believe it should be a fantastic one. What's up guys and welcome back to Wanderer's Footsteps. In this video I'm gonna be talking to you about an amazing book that I read a few days ago. You know, I usually when I want to buy a new book I always read the title. It's the title that tells me or that intrigues me. So either I buy it or not depending on, on how the title, how much interesting is the title. This book, when I read the title, I thought this is a story that I should read. Nova's Quest for the Enchanted Chalice. Like, when you read this title, you always have all these questions in your mind. What is this quest all about? Who or what is Nova, the Enchanted Chalice? Lots of questions and I can assure you the answers are more than fulfilling. So before I dive into the story in itself, I would like to talk a little bit about the author Marsha Irving. Because the more I read about her, the more I wanted to read her book and the story she wrote. Actually, Marsha is a person, in my opinion, who knew how to, how to seize the opportunity in life, who knew how to understand life's messages and life's signs. Basically, she always wanted to be a writer, but she kept postponing it for a long time and for many years, as all of us do in our lives, whenever we have dreams, we keep postponing them until the COVID-19 uh, pandemic arrived and she got sick and there was a lockdown. So in all this time, in all this year, she thought, why not make the most out of this time in order to write her story? She understood that every day is a gift, that today, this present time is a gift and you might not have it tomorrow. So if I don't start today, when am I gonna start? And this is what she understood about life and she decided to begin writing her story. And she always had in mind that one day she's gonna be as big or as, as known, let's say, as all the international and most known authors in the world. And in my opinion, she already is at the same level of all the big authors after reading her story, Nova's Quest. So I really think that Marsha is an inspiration for lots of people who have many dreams and goals that they want to accomplish. This is how she began planning and she began writing and she saw her characters one after the other coming to life and she saw her, her story as one living entity as she describes it. What I like the most about it is that in many parts of her story, it is based on personal experiences she had. She remembers how one day she was walking and saw the hail comet above the Rocky Mountains in Canada. She remembers until this day how beautiful it was. And also she has a memory of when she was walking one day with her uncle in Scotland and he told her that in a specific location he saw a moon bow one night and he told her how beautiful and amazing it was. These two moments are very precious for her and this is why she decided to include them and to make place for them in her story, Nova's Quest. So back to the story in itself, honestly I did not know how to begin to talk about it because it touched me a lot. But I'm gonna begin by saying the following. What is a world without a magic? What is a world where people do not believe in magic? And how can a person live without looking at the stars every night and wonder about all this magical existence that we live in? So the story tells us about Alexander, a boy who lives with his father Jacob inside a cabin. And Alexander is always fascinated by all the stories his father has to tell him. Stories about life, about magic, about stars and about a certain phoenix. Jacob and Alexander had created some sort of bubble where they enjoy these stories together because these stories are forbidden in the outside world. But when they are together inside their bubble, they are safe. No one knows what they are talking about. However, Alexander had lots of imagination. So through the stories of his father, he used to travel in his thoughts to wherever he wanted. But he always needed to know more. Until one day, his father Jacob, who had amnesia, so basically he was not present mentally all the time. He saw a bright light in the sky and told Alexander that this is a big sign, a very important sign. Could it be the sign he was waiting for for a long time? Could it be the phoenix he was talking about for many years? I cannot spoil the book for you, but I can tell you that this is where Alexander's journey begins. A quest that will take him to search for the secret about himself, to search for his real purpose in life, and most importantly, to find the long lost land of magic. So guys, this book has lots of important life lessons for every and each reader. It is very well written and when I was reading it, it was like reading a very beautiful poem called Nova's Quest. A poem that teaches us that every person on earth has a purpose. That teaches us also that magic does exist. We should only believe in it. It also teaches us that we should always follow our path because only there we will find our treasure. And to believe that nothing happens by accident in life. And most importantly, to dream. But dream about what? Dream about life, about stars, about this existence, and to keep all these beautiful stories alive. 
You know, guys, when I was reading the book, at many parts of it, I felt myself inside the alchemist of Paulo Coelho with Santiago who was searching for his treasure in the desert. I also felt myself inside the man who wanted to be happy by Laurent Gounel with the tourist in Bali who was searching for his purpose in life. So just to tell you that this book is at the same level of all the big books, uh, let's say I read for all the amazing and long known authors. When I, when, when I first got it, I knew from the title that it's gonna be an amazing story, but it surely exceeded my expectations. The old ways were back in a time long before we were born, when all creatures were in tune with the world around them. You now rely so heavily on sight, taste, touch, sound and smell. But there are more than just those five senses. You are capable of so much more. So I highly, highly recommend this book if you really want to travel into a magical world, if you want to expand your mind to new horizons, or just to go on a beautiful and brilliant journey. I myself am sure gonna be following Marsha Irving for all her future books. So Nova's Quest is available on many platforms online, on Amazon, on Goodreads. You can find all the links in the description below. And also make sure to follow Marsha Irving on her Instagram account where she publishes all her new books and talks about everything that's uh, all her future plans let's say i'm gonna be posting her instagram account also in the description below so guys i really hope that you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed my review of nova's quest that is a really brilliant book make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my instagram account at wonders footstep and i'll be seeing you next time cheers